That's Paula White, a televangelist turned official member of the Trump administration. White was born Paula Michelle Furr in 1966 in Tupelo, Mississippi, the same birthplace as Elvis Presley. Uh -huh. Surprisingly, in many ways, White and Elvis are similar. He was flashy, she is flashy. He made crowd scream, she makes crowd scream. He had fantastic hair, she has pretty fantastic hair. He spent time in the White House, she's spending time in the White House. He owned an airplane and a mansion. She owns an airplane and a mansion. But how did White come to live a life of luxury while having a seat at the most important table in the world? I'm comedian Josh Johnson, and I'm here to tell you the story of Trump's faith advisor, Paula White. To say no to President Trump would be saying no to God, and I won't do that. White had a pretty brutal upbringing. Her father committed suicide when she was just five years old. Here's this former messed up Mississippi girl lived in a trailer that they called trailer trash. Daddy committed suicide, got pregnant out of wedlock, been married, been divorced, not just once, you know, twice. In 1984, Paula became a born-again Christian. A year later, she had a baby and married the father, Dean Knight. But their marriage began to crumble, and after Paula met Randy White, a married man with three kids, at the church she was attending, the two divorced their respective spouses, moved to Tampa, and married in 1990. In 1991, Paula and Randy formed their own church called Without Walls International Church, a name Trump probably wasn't fond of. Build that wall! Build that wall! The Washington Post notes, over the next decade, Paula blossomed as a pastor, and the Whites began broadcasting their message on a regional Christian television network that reached listeners across Florida, including a restless business tycoon at Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach. 18 years ago, and I tell it in the story, the Lord spoke to me and said, regarding then Mr. Trump, show him who I am. According to White, Trump University co-founder Donald Trump called her after seeing her on TV. On the phone, he allegedly repeated three sermons back to her, verbatim. He verbatim repeats to me three sermons. And I'm thinking to myself, you, <laughs> he listens better than most of my people in my congregation. He certainly does. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no I, verse that I, means I a lot just, to you that you think about or cite? The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like? No, I don't want to do that. Are you I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. After the initial phone call, which White reportedly thinks was in 2001 or 2002, White and Trump would be inseparable for years to come. She'd go on to ink a $1.5 million television deal with BET, the Black Entertainment Television Network, hosting her own show, Paula White Today. She had made it. Her church was bringing in $40 million a year. She got to spend time on the set of The Apprentice. She was flying the world on her private jet, and she bought a $3.5 million condo in Trump Tower. However, White's lavish spending habits eventually landed her in unholy hot water. In May of 2007, news of a U.S. Senate financial probe broke. The investigation targeted six televangelists, including White, who preached the so-called prosperity gospel, which espouses that God rewards believers with financial success, and those who donate more to the church will have more success. There's a Department of Treasury in heaven that God is watching over everything you do. And you are storing up eternal treasure that will go so far beyond, I think, that we can even begin to imagine. You need to send in 35000 You need to send in that $100,000 check. If you do not write that P.O. box and you do not call that toll-free number and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life and your dream will die. Your call will die. And around the same time, her second marriage marriage was crumbling. Randy and Paula officially divorced in 2007. Paula reportedly refused to cooperate with the Senate investigation and got away scot-free. I guess that's how it works. Although former employees of the church say they were told to use money from the congregation to pay off credit card bills used for personal expenses, even if it meant not making payroll, the couple reportedly charred a jet for a trip to Vegas to watch an $18,000 boxing match which was all reportedly paid for by the church. According to a former business associate of the Whites, the jet was often used as much as 20 hours a week and frequently flew to the Cayman Islands. After defaulting on a reported $29 million in loans, Without Walls International Church went bankrupt in 2014. But Paula didn't stop believing. In late 2014, she married for a third time. This time it was Journey keyboardist and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Jonathan Kane. 
Trump sent White a $1,000 donation to her new Destiny Christian Center as a wedding gift. In 2016, after Trump announced his running for the presidency, White promoted the thrice-married reality star who bragged about sexually assaulting women and Elite Tape reportedly had an affair with porn star Stormy Daniels, who he paid $130,000 in hush money to her followers. And when he won the presidency, naturally, White was invited to speak at his inauguration. Because lucky for us, Trump is the first president in history who doesn't really need to repent. Why, why do I have to, you know, repent? Why do I have to ask for forgiveness if you're not making mistakes? Ever since his win, Paul has been stumping for the president to the evangelical community. In spite of everything, inflammatory comments, dangerous policy. It's worth noting the leader of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, doesn't support Trump on his separation of children. He's quoted saying, separating children from their parents goes against natural law. You can't do it. It's cruel. It's among the greatest of cruelties. I get to do some real cool things, like pray over the president almost every day. I felt destroyed, very sad. It was very hard when they separated me from my daughter. I'm afraid I'll never see her again. She's the best, the most important thing in my life. In return for her support, in November of 2019, Trump appointed White as the special advisor to the Faith and Opportunity Initiative. Trump created the program to give religious groups more of a voice in government programs, which is what we all needed. She's also the president's spiritual advisor, which means she basically doesn't come to work. Wherever I go, God rules. When I walk on White House grounds, God walks on White House grounds. When I walked in the river, God walked in the river. When I go into the dry cleaner, that dry cleaning place becomes holy. I had every right and authority to declare the White House as holy ground because I was standing there and where I stand is holy. Holy dry cleaning establishments aside, White will surely come in handy for Trump, who's looking to maintain his evangelical base as he tries to win a second term. She told the New York Times, quote, I've never seen the base more energized than it is now. Hey, thanks for watching Who Is? Did you know we have a podcast now too? On Who Is, the podcast, I'll dive deep into the fascinating lives of the people who run things, whose decisions impact every aspect of our lives. How did they get where they are today? And knowing that, what might they do next? From politicians to the ultra rich, to military contractors and monarchs and media moguls, I'll introduce you to the reporters and experts who know these real life world molders best. Sharp-eyed observers and confidants who observe our subjects as they make the decisions that define our everyday lives. To see more, hit the link or search Who Is on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. And for more of the video series you know and love, be sure to check out the Snapchat versions and our series playlists on YouTube and Facebook.